wake up, we'll wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Yeah, that's right. Today is the first day of October, which means we're getting Marvel Spider-Man 2. I got that symbiote mask ready, baby. I'm all ready for this game. Let's get into it. <laughs> If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to hit like 53, 55,000 subscribers before the game comes out. I'm going to be having my own walkthrough. Hopefully, I could bribe a GameStop employee to give me the game early. And I can actually have the walkthrough ready as soon as the game comes out. And that will be just greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to be talking about the web swing mechanics in this game. Because we've gotten some new information. Web swinging has been significantly changed in this game. And it's actually incredible. The first thing that we got to talk about is the web wings. We'll get into the physics-based web swinging because I know everybody wants to talk about that. James Stevenson kind of explained it in a way that I kind of actually thought about it. I knew that was going to be exactly what it is, but we'll talk about that web swinging, uh, physics based web swinging in just a second. We're going to be talking about the web wings at first and how the web wings are very innovative to this game. Whether people want to bitch and moan about it or not, the web wings are probably the most innovative thing they could have added to a Spider Man game because I can't think of any other Spider Man game that's done this. Spider Man 2 doesn't have it, Web of Shadows doesn't have it, Ultimate Spider Man, all those games that are like incredible. I guess like Shattered dimensions has it with the the 2099 version when you could like kind of glide a little bit but that's not the same thing as doing it in an open world oh. Whew. it's getting hard to breathe in there and I don't have ringworm like J roar back in 2016 so I can actually go ahead and breathe something that can be coupled with the web wings too is the loop de loops and the loop de loops being able to like swing really fast or being able to just like let's say you're jumping off a building you dive and then you web wing you're going super fast and then you hit like a crane or a helicopter and you just swing around that and just let go oh it would be so clean and the web wings again allows you to get to that type of speed and go so much faster within this world and i love being able to do that and the corner tethers too the corner tethers are something that's kind of in the first two games in a way you could run on the buildings and then like you could hit the corner and like zip around the corner real fast but in this game you can manually do it whenever you really want whenever you're going around a corner and you could like web swing and then hit it instead of going on a building which is a, an incredible improvement i love the way that they're doing it in this game and it just feels so i'm probably never going to be able to do that on a building <laughs> like i'm never going to do that on a wall i'm just going to do it while i'm web swinging most of the time because that just sounds like so much of a, a quality of life improvement you know being able to just do it in the air just is so much better and hitting those quick turns will also make some of the chases feel a lot more immersive and a little bit more like you have to be on your toes in order to actually like get to them like if let's say you're facing off against venom or maybe you have to like run away from venom oh that'd be terrifying you have to like hit corners really fast to get away from him because he's like right on your ass and that would be terrifying i would love something like that the next one i guess can kind of be in like the honorable mentions i guess i could talk about the honorable mentions and also this next one all in one it's kind of the speed increase the speed increase is like something that a lot of people aren't talking about, but the way that Spider-Man and of course Miles Morales Spider-Man can get around this world, being able to slingshot too, and also you could slingshot wherever you want. I guess that's a cool mechanic. That's one of the new mechanics, but I, I put that on honorable mention because that's been kind of done before in Amazing Spider-Man 2, but you could slingshot wherever you want and that is amazing. The speed that you're going to be able to get like going when you're going and through the slingshot, it's just perfect and it's so much better than those first two games because you're just being able to like really push that ps5 hard drive and just go as far, far as you can and it's so good another thing too for the honorable mentions is water surfing a lot of people don't talk about this and it's something that's actually incredibly awesome because we are that close to getting like walking on the ground swinging and water surfing is like incredible because the last game we weren't able to do that we hovered above the air just like we did in the last game right and, and, and just like in Miles Morales and stuff like that. But in this game, you're able to like slide on the water for a little bit. And I think that that is just a great feature. And it also gives them the opportunity to p basically try to play with that on the streets too. Where there's a bunch of cars, maybe you could slide over the cars. Or maybe you could slide on the sidewalk or the rails. Like there's a bunch of stuff that they can do with the sliding or surfing mechanic. And even try to implement it within the game's mechanics when you're web swinging in the actual city. And not just on the water. So there's a lot that they could do there. And I really hope that they keep playing with that and try to play with it as much as possible. And kind of put it onto the ground too. The last one is fall damage. And this wasn't the last feature or mechanic. I have one more feature, of course, the, the, the physics base. But the fall damage. I think fall damage is great because, again, during boss battles or chases, let's say you're chasing Lizard and he hits you with a fucking car, right? You're just too slow and stupid to dodge that shit. And then you're swinging around and you fall and you're doing a trick and you you fall on the ground. You hit the goddamn ground and you just ragdoll and die. 
it would be the funniest thing. I really hope they had a ragdoll mechanic because that would just be the cherry on top. That'd be hilarious. But I think that fall damage is a really nice inclusion. I know I, I have said in the past that's not needed, but of course you could turn it on and off. I think most people should turn it on for the first playthrough that they have. Maybe the next playthroughs they don't they don't really need to. But I think fall damage is a really awesome feature to have in this game. Definitely a mechanic from the previous games that deserves to be in this game. And I think it will make everything a lot more immersive when you're just swinging around. Last but not least. Oh man. Oh man. So James Stevenson talked about this this morning. He kind of went more in depth. But basically, we have steering assistance. And this was confirmed a few days ago. But the steering assistance is basically the higher you go on the value, the easier the web, web swinging is. It gives you more of an assistance. And it's basically the default swinging that we had for the first two games. Number one, when you go all the way down to number one from 10. It actually gives you physics-based web swinging. It says, all right, oh my God. And it lets you do certain things with the physics in the web swinging. Maybe it bends the lines when you're going around a corner or it makes you heavier. They didn't really specify what it does. They kind of just said that, of course, this is uh, less assistance than the last game. And it's kind of like weird to kind of say that because I don't really know what that means. I have to play around to really know what that means. But from what I'm hearing, from what it sounds like, it sounds like you're going to be heavier. Your, your web wings are probably not going to be, you know, uh, letting you glide as long as you can when you're on 10 or whatever. And then when you're swinging, you probably, you know, feel heavier and you're probably not able to, like, you know, go as far. Like, gravity and physics are definitely going to play a larger part, which is what it says. So, if we're going based off of the physics-based thing, all of that's going to be a lot heavier. And it's not going to be, like, as floaty. Maybe they let you even get closer to the ground and stuff like that. Or maybe when you are swinging close to the ground, they do let you hit cars. So, people that wanted that feature can stop fucking bitching and moaning. And they actually had everything in this game. <laughs> I can't think of one thing that they're missing. Like, I'm, I, I'm sure somebody's going to find something to bitch about, right? But realistically, every single web swing mechanic that they've had ever in any Spider-Man game is basically in this game, besides touching the ground. And even then, we don't even know if that's true, because this physics-based web swinging that we got could potentially do that and really make you have less assistance, which means when you're going lower, it doesn't let you hover. With, of course, a lot of people, that's what they complain about with the steering, or I'm sorry, the, the whole overall web swinging, is the fact that you hover when you're about to touch the ground. So, if that's the thing that happens here, is that it doesn't let you hover, and it makes you feel heavier, then there you go. Like, I, I don't see any problem to be complaining about the web swinging. It seems like they've innovated it for the better, and they've made it ten times more customizable for the player themselves to make it whatever they want. Man, Insomniac, you guys are wizards. I genuinely cannot wait to see how this all plays out when you play it all together in one sitting instead of watching it get cut apart in multiple gameplay clips and stuff like that. And I really am excited to see how this all plays out at the very end. So thank you guys for watching. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. Which one of these are your most favorite mechanics that you hear from so far? Which ones are you most excited to play with? I think steering assistance is definitely number one. Like, I can't wait to see how this physics-based web swinging actually works in Marvel Spider-Man 2, and I want to know what you guys think about that too. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.